I'm always excited to be here, but today I'm especially excited because I think you guys are really gonna learn something about our big idea with the example I've prepared to demonstrate how to respect people who are in charge of <coughs> us. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you telling these people? I thought you were here to help. What? I ain't, you, you're really interrupting. I think somebody should. This has all the makings of a really bad segment. I, a box of props, you, that was not respectful, but I am glad that you're in he that you're here. In fact, we were just getting ready to use your life as an example. That never turns out the way that I think it should. Uh, let's take a look at some of the people in your life that have been in charge of you and see what we can find out. The people in charge of me? You don't mind, do you? Uh, would it make a difference? No. So, who do you think of when you see this? An apple? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Huh. Ah! Uh, be my third grade teacher, Miss Francis. You know what she did? She always made us work on spelling every single day. It was terrible! Terrible? Can you spell that? Oh yeah. T-E-R-R-I-B-L-E. -E. Terrible. It's an adjective. Well, that was pretty good. Sounds like Miss Francis did her job. You know, here's a picture of Miss Francis. Oh, that's her. She's the one. You know, once one of her students wrote, Miss Francis is a meanie on the chalkboard. Really? What did she do? Uh, she made me write, I mean, uh, the student write, I won't be disrespectful a hundred times. That sounds like a reasonable punishment. Maybe she was in your life to help you develop some better language skills. Come to think of it, I think she did help me talk gooder. Moving right along. Um, how about this? Who does this remind you of? Oh, no, 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 whoa, that's Coach Buford's whistle. My shin splints just started hurting again after I heard that. Well, here's a picture of your former coach. He doesn't look mean. He made us run and run and run and run. He was just the worst. But. That's what track coaches do. Uh, who said anything about track? He was the coach of the chess team. You must have really had a problem with his authority. I'm sure the punishment fit the crime. Now, how about, well, this one? Uh, soda can? Uh, I, don't, I don't know who that's supposed to represent. Mmm, try thinking of today. Huh, today. All I've done is talk with you. Well, how about one more picture to help you out? Um, nope. Still nothing. Did you just drink this soda a few minutes ago? Mm-hmm. But instead of throwing it in the trash, you... Save some time by tossing it on the ground. But haven't you noticed? This school is always clean. It's in great shape. Never trash laying around on the floor. So somebody would have just taken care of it sooner or later. That is true, and, and but instead of taking advantage of the people who make sure this place is nice and clean and safe, you could respect them by throwing your own trash away. So first, you tell me I have to respect teachers and coaches. Next, you tell me I have to respect custodians and cafeteria workers. And Jeez, the next thing you, you're going to tell me I have to respect my parents too. I think that you can see into the future.